The reason why we're up here at EasyJet today is because they're an airline that's really thinking about what it means to be sustainable. So what it means to be an airline that's still around in 50 or 100 years' time. We're going to look at the difference that science and technology can make, but also to make sure that there's a world for us to still enjoy as we go on. It's the story of two guys who decided that they want to fly around the world without a drop of fuel. When you talk about solar panels, when you talk about textile, when you talk about climate change, when you talk about scarcity of waters, all the technologies that are developed for this project will find outlets in the market tomorrow. The idea was to uh, fly around the world in a solar-powered airplane without no fossil fuel, no emission, no pollution. So Bertrand Piquet is um, a visionaire. He's um, very keen of... Uh, of adventure, he wants to uh, go beyond the borders. Then you explain to the people it's, it was not possible, now it's possible. They, so you you force people to raise questions to themselves and to go out of the box. So we are being building the, the big the big plane, so it's no longer a prototype. So their aim is to uh, make this airplane fly around the globe. We hope to to success to have the success to do that in 2013. So we hope to have the flight in 2015. If you just do the things that are possible, you never, you never invent anything. It's to work together to have the best solution on board. Ready? Ready for the rest of the journey? Yeah? Is there anyone from Ashcroft? Yes! yes. <laughs> That's a bit more like... And anyone from Stopsley? Yes! Oh, come on, make some more noise, come on! EasyJet are really excited by the pioneering work that Solar Impulse are doing. I think that the Solar Impulse project is, is a fascinating one. I think it really shows the, the, the potential that other sources of energy have. And, and if you think about it, I mean, only 100 years ago or so, the first aircraft flew with just one passenger on board. And 100 years on, you've got commercial aircraft flying with hundreds of passengers on board. We are an organization that represents the manufacturers of plastics. You know, prevent, don't use resources, reuse, recycle at home, school and work. Why not take part in the beach cleanup? You know, it's a great way of you know, doing something positive to the, for the environment. Uh, I'm very interested in the health of the environment and getting our um, carbon footprint down and the use of plastics. Because it, it's not just us that we're, sec we're securing the future for tomorrow and like other generations of people to come. It's our world we're going to be living in, otherwise by the time of like 2050 uh, our crude oil supplies will be running low and uh, the way we li which we live now will not be the same. You can all do something, you can improve the uh, levels of recycling that you do and pester your parents to do more. Now, if I could do anything about it, I'd try and find a way of making sure that anything that does is a waste gets dis like, um, disposed of properly. New materials can help us make our operations, our aircraft in particular, lighter and more fuel efficient and also obviously reduces our impact on the environment. So I think it was pretty reassuring to see a bunch of 15, 16 year olds inspired and excited by the idea of doing that as they move up through their lives and through their careers. I think it's great, like, it's really inspiring, like, it makes you like, really think about your future. We just started doing apprenticeship schemes and we've got graduate schemes, so there's a whole range of, of, of roles and, and careers within aviation. We want to share with you a story a story that has inspired us, a story of two men with a vision, of two men with the courage to believe in that vision, with the courage to dream, and with the courage to overcome the hurdles to make those dreams come true. For me, if there is one learning that I really, really hope you take with you today is that there is no such thing as impossible. If you have a dream, go for it. Be persuasive, believe in it, and go for your dreams. So best of luck. Thank you.